Good evening, I'm Mark Wright. That is the end result of chaos today along a Seattle street that injured four people. Tonight, we're learning more about the massive crash and the victims. All of this happened this morning as that dump truck was headed downhill westbound on James Street. Something catastrophic happened. The truck careened down the hill, hit a pedestrian and vehicles before slamming into that subway restaurant along Yesler. Amy Marino joins us live at Harborview tonight with our top story at 11. Amy. Well, Mark, some of the injured were already treated and released here from Harborview Medical Center. I want to take you through those injuries. A 33 year old man who was walking at 2nd and James was hit. A 51 year old man who was standing in front of that subway and a 44 year old man who was inside the restaurant. They were both brought here. A 37 year old female who was the driver of the dump truck suffered some minor injuries, but she was treated at the scene. Now, the most serious injuries were a 25 year old woman. She remained here tonight. She was the driver of a commercial van that was struck during this scary incident that unfolded this morning on a Seattle street. It took hours of work and multiple tow trucks to pull the dump truck out of the subway, load it onto a tow truck and haul it away. The subway had to be boarded up, the street had to be cleaned, and the building had to be inspected. All the while, Miguel Laris and his crew in the Halal Guys restaurant next door watched and marveled at just how close it came. I know it's everybody scary for a war right here in the morning. It's everybody scared. Laris wasn't there when the accident happened, but said it knocked down pans and messed some things up. The restaurant was closed during the investigation and will not reopen until tomorrow. The crew admits they're a bit shaken. Yeah, it's so crazy. For the next day, it's crazy. I know, but. Only, uh, only uh, I asked for the guys that were the morning. Hey, what happened? I don't know. The, the truck came in. Witnesses who were there Monday morning describe a terrifying scene of a truck out of control coming down James Street and a driver doing her best to slow it down. Took out these two, two cars that hit someone up the street that was crossing the street. Um, and then he came flying right through here and went straight into the subway. Police say the building's owner plans a thorough evaluation of the structural damage. For now, they've ruled it's safe for people to be inside and on the sidewalk. Though after seeing this, it might be a while before anyone looks at this storefront the same. And Seattle police still investigating what caused this truck to lose control. At this point, they're still calling it a catastrophic mechanical failure. We're live at Harborview tonight. Amy Marino, King 5 News. Amy, thank you. So if you have the King 5 app, you know that we texted pictures and information of this morning's truck crash right after it happened. To never miss a story, or if you want to check out a live stream of every newscast we do, download the King 5 app today. Just text the word app to 206-448-4545, and we will send you a link.